Welcome to the MMA Minutes Trivia Show. All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the MMA Minutes Trivia Show. I'm your host, Steve, with the MMA Minute. And today I am joined by friend of the show, Lewis Norton. Lewis, how are you doing? I'm good. Nervous. Very nervous, but ready to answer trivia. I know. I, I got to say, when I post these trivias out on Instagram or on TikTok, make sure to give me a follow. I'm, I'm surprised at how much people actually get right. And I've made them pretty challenging. And, and you guys have come back with some great answers. And you guys seem to really have a hold on trivia. So I feel like you shouldn't be too nervous. I think you're going you're gonna to do well here. Smash it. Smash it. That's what, uh, <laughs> like Shemaev would say. Smash, exactly. Take his approach. I can't lose. Yeah, that's you. You gotta like channel that inner Shemaev, and you cannot lose. Um, but before we get started, let's go through the show rules real quick. So there's gonna be three rounds. Round number one, multiple choice, not too hard. There's only three options. Five questions there. Round two, we're doing the lightning round, which will be one minute to answer five questions. And round three is gonna be a final wager where I'll give you the category. You'll be able to wager an amount between zero and twenty-five points, and then you'll uh, you'll wager. Okay. All right. Couple extras here. If you want to phone a friend, we're gonna take that for a, another game show. If you want to phone a friend at any point through round one or round two, we'll pause, and you can give him a call and try to get an answer that way. <laughs> I love it. And then double down. So in round one, at any point, if you want to double down on your answer. You can do that for double the points. The only downside is if you get that incorrect, you'll get negative points. Gotcha. Sound good? Sounds good. This is, uh, All right. This is going to be intense. <laughs> Here we go. So we're going to start with multiple choice. Question number one. Who dethroned Holly Holm? Misha Tate. Misha Tate, final answer? Misha Tate is correct. Question number two for 10 points here. What is Miguel Baez's nickname? Oh, Christ. I do not know this one. Uh, Caramel Lightning. (laughs) Caramel Lightning? At a guess. At a guess, that one is incorrect. Caramel Thunder was the correct answer on that one. I kind of changed it up a little bit, threw all the caramels in there, because I didn't know if you would <laughs> have some sort of hint on it, but it was uh, it's Caramel I, Thunder. Not a clue on that one. That's all right. So that was a 10.1. Don't forget, you can double down on any of these questions. Question number three. What state was UFC President Dana White born in? I don't even know what the state stands for. Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Connecticut. Oh, wait. I'm going to go with New Hampshire. He's Boston, isn't he? That's where you are. That's all I know. So you want to lock in New Hampshire? I think so. I don't know many states. (laughs) I was thinking that when I made this. I was like, he might not know the states. No. And this one is kind of a trick question, but it is actually C, Connecticut. Oh, okay. I thought he was a Boston guy. Is He He is a Boston guy. He moved to Boston after... And he's gotcha. well known in the Boston scene. I believe it's Somerville specifically, right outside of Boston. But he's actually born in Connecticut. Oh, okay. No, no. All right, that's okay. That's okay. You're going to bounce back here in uh, question four and five. I know it. All right, question four. Who holds the record for most fights in the UFC? I don't know if he got overtaken recently or... Oh. A tricky one. It's either B or C in my head. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with. Oh no, no. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to say Jim Miller so badly. I want to say Jim Miller so badly. Don't forget, you can call a friend or double down. Oh no, I just I'm gonna, I've, I felt it was Jim Miller and Donald overtook him, but I'm gonna. I'm going to go Donald. No, go against my gut. I'm going to go Donald. Donald Cerrone. 
It was Jim Miller. It was, it Jim, was Miller. Jim Miller. My gut. Never go against the Oh, gut. man. I thought That's he a tough one because yeah. they're all neck and neck. Yeah. Arlovsky, Cerrone, Miller, like they're all one apart. The yeah. Jim Miller is at 38. Yeah, because they're both fighting. That's the point. Exactly. I don't know who all fought last. I don't know who fought last. <laughs> they're all active and they all have a shit ton of fights in the UFC. But yeah, it was Jim Miller. It was Jim Miller all along. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna bounce back here. Question five. I know you're good at these ones. Who was Ronda Rousey's last successful title defense against? See, I think it's Betchka Hayer, and that she knocked her out. And then she went against. Yeah, I'm gonna go A. I'll, I'll double down on it. I'll go. I'll use it. I'll use it. I'll do Betchka Hayer. That was a smart move. Betch Crayer is correct and the double down. So that was for 25 points. That's a big bounce back for you. Yeah, yeah I had that, to after that. After that, I have to risk it. <laughs> and I know that's your bread and butter too. Thank the God. title fights, the defenses. I've asked a couple of those questions. You seem to have that pretty, pretty locked in. So that was a good call on your end. Yeah, yeah. Because then everyone thought she could throw hands. Clearly couldn't. No, uh, that, one, <laughs> that one ended quick. Yeah. As, as most of Ronda's fights did. Yeah, don't cry. All right, so that is end of multiple choice. The the double down helped you a lot, so you ended up with 55 total points in that one. I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, okay, not bad. I, I think Shoot. that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. The double down really saved you there, and you had to use it at some point, so it, that worked out well. All right, next up, we're going to do the lightning round, so I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock. I think you'll do well in, on this one. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's a quick thinking, but I think you're going to do pretty well on it. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Ooh, little tease there. Sorry, I haven't got my glasses on. I can't read that quick. <laughs> I'll read it for you as well. Lovely. All right, here we go. Lightning round starting now. Who won, Kelvin Gastelum or Chris Weidman? Kelvin Gastelum. Or was Lightning. it no Chris Weidman arm triangle? Which one? Which one? Chris Chris Weidman arm triangle. Chris Weidman. Who won? <laughs> Uriah Hall versus Tiago Santos. Oh. Oh. Let's go in Hall. Number three. Most recent opponent for Charles Jordan. Oh. Sparta kit. Can't remember. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Pass. Most recent opponent for Greg Hardy. Tied to a us. What round did this fight end? Connor versus Mendez. Last minute, round two. Round two? Yeah. And we're going back. Most recent opponent for Charles Jordan. You got 15 seconds. Oh, God. That is... I do not know. Off the top of my head. Five seconds? That's going to hurt. It was only a few weeks ago. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, I, I don't know that one. Okay. All right. Sadly. All right, let's do Man, a quick Amanda recap. Nunes. <laughs> yeah. No, but you were right. Like the Sparta kick, you know, yeah. that was kind of the giveaway. And it's, you know, it's not a big name. Uh, previous friend of the show on our old channel, but we'll get to that. So who won Kelvin Gastelum versus Chris Weidman? You at first went Gastelum, changed yeah. it to Chris Weidman. I remember the arm triangle. Yep. R Weidman yeah. was the correct answer. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be another five points. Thank God it's not Lewis. first answers only. <laughs> Uriah Hall versus Tiago Santos. You said Uriah Hall. I do not was... remember. I do not remember this fight. I think it was. I think it was 2014. Okay. Um, but it was Uriah Hall by decision. Oh. So you did get that one right as well. So we'll lock in another five points. Number three was the Charles Jordan fight. Andre Yule. Andre Yule. Thank you. Was the yes. correct answer. Yeah. And that would bring us to number four. Greg Hardy fought Tai Tuivasa. You got that one correct. Um, he got absolutely destroyed in that fight. Yeah. And he claims Which, he didn't, so that's even funnier. Yes, and the clip came out. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what he was saying. I, I literally don't know what he was saying, but he got put out bad. Badly. Yep, I think his time might be coming. But uh, question number five here. What round did this fight end? Conor McGregor versus Chad Mendez. You said round two, and that was correct. It was round two. 
Was I know you're one, good at those minute, ones. Was it one minute to go as well? I think it was. I think it was late, yeah. late round two. Stand up, teep to the body, left, left cross across the cage, sat him down. Two shots when he's on the on his knees. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a, you know, that's a good fight for Connor to look back on. Chad Mendes was a tough wrestler, you know. Yeah, just a one week notice, I think, or ten days, something like that for Chad. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, that's good. I like that. Did better on that one than I thought. Yeah. No, no, you did well there. So you picked up a total of 20 points in the lightning round. So 20 of a possible 25. So that's that's great. Ooh, I'm happy with that. So now you're up to 75 total, which is going to bring us to the final wager. <laughs> so you'll be able to wager between zero and 25 points. I'm mm. going to give you the category and then you can tell me what your wager is. Okay. All right, so the category on this one is UFC records. Oh, okay. So I have to I have to say what their record actually is. No, this is um, a generic uh, UFC record book. You oh, know, record breaking uh, kind of stats. Yeah, similar to the the Jim Miller question. Okay. Um, so, how much would you like to wager? Zero to twenty-five. Ooh, it depends what the question is. Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, zero to 25. Let's wager 10. Play it a bit safe because I lost a couple. <laughs> I think that's Point. fair. This is a, I'd say a medium level difficulty. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll go 10 points. I think that's a safe approach. I like it. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. No time limit here. Okay. Here we go. GSP is tied with three others for most decision wins all time. Name one other fighter that he's tied with. Most decision wins of all time. Okay. I'm trying to think of people who have a lot of fights in the UFC for a start. And the number is 12. 12 decision wins. Who has 12 wins for a start? That's a lot. I can give you a hint if you... A little hint. Do I lose points it. for a hint? I'll be generous. Okay. <laughs> uh, two of them are active. One of them is inactive, but potentially was signed to a different organization. Okay, so one of them, I that does help thing because what that was one I had in my head which is the nightmare is it is one of them Diego Sanchez are you gonna lock that one in yeah because that's that was in my head all right we're locking in Diego Sanchez so the three answers that we would have accepted are Neil Magny really which wow. is I, I think that's the one that I would have got because I do remember that happening recently. And the dude's a machine. He's a decision machine. I didn't think he had 12 wins in the UFC. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's, that's it. That's the next one I think is more surprising than that. Maybe not. Brad Tavares. That is surprising. Yeah. All time, you know, that's, that's pretty crazy. And then the third one that we would have accepted was Diego Sanchez. So congratulations, Lewis. You hit the 10 points on the final wager. Oh. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. So if I had not said anything, <laughs> no I would have said th th that's the only name I had in my head. Is the only I would never have got Brad Tavares <laughs> right. or, uh, or Magni. I think from the era I've been watching from, it's Sanchez. Is that's the names that pop into my head? If you if you say that you know the lightweight champ at one point, the first name that comes into my head is either BJ Penn or like Kenny Flory and like challenging those sort right. of names, Sean Shirks. I don't go straight to like lightweight now, so Diego Sanchez is always on my head. <laughs> but that's uh, I'm I'm happy. I thought of that. Thank God for that. Yeah. No, uh, uh, thank you for that one. <laughs> but yeah, that's good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, there you go. So that was ten points final wager. So you ended up with eighty five total points, which I think is I think you did a good job. I think that's going to put you. So the, the way that this is going to work is I'm going to put this out to if fighters want to come on 
if fans want to come on, you know, any of these content creators that I've been talking to, maybe Aaron or well, I'll probably have Dave Van Auken come on the show. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be cool to just like keep a leaderboard and see kind of track it throughout the year and just see how people stack up if they want to come back on. You know, that's something we can definitely do. So I know but, nothing about American States. There you go. But yeah, that's uh, that's episode one. Make sure to check us out on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, at the MMA Minute. And yeah, if you guys want to come on the show, just let me know. I think this is super fun. But until then, uh, we'll see you guys next time.